how to get maybe how to get one or two all star players. So I don't think you can get a ninety five free to play unless you get really lucky. Here, how to get some. First, get some rookies, of course. Get some uh players so you can get them from the sets. Sadly, I got an 83 and needed an 84. And do put those in this set. But if you get duplicates, you can either put those in these if you wanted to get six and or this one. So it takes yeah. So yeah. So how to get those players to get the points. Do these events. These events are repeatable. It's just that the first time you play it, you get an extra six tokens. So this is really good. These are repeatable. But these are not. They just give you a little points. You know, dirty stuff. And then you should do this every day. It resets. You have a chance to get a 92 to 93. This advise you to pick Team LeBron. Stack. So if you want LeBron 95... Or KD. So if you want KD, you should get three of these players. Most notably, probably like the 92s. Uh, and then 30,000 only. And then maybe get one of these. So that's 50,000. And then after 50,000, you need to get another 40,000. So it'll be 90,000. So it's not free to play most likely. But two masters might be free to play. Two masters. Uh, a 93 and a 92. Or if you want, you just get some 91s, I guess. Um, but yeah. Uh, you, If you want LeBron, you can pick some of these players. There's also some reserves. So mostly you get points out of doing the sets. D these rising sophomores or rising rookies and then put them here. And then after that, y you get 3,000 points each time. And it's repeatable. So you should do it every time you can. So you collect those and then tokens for rookies. And then exchange those and then turn those into points. So those points you use to buy the players. Then in the All-Star, there's like a ads pack where you can get one. It's okay. There's also a coin pack where you can get 200. And that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. We're out.